everyone is unhappy because they say they want to be happy rather than being like accepting like fuck happiness and most people in my opinion that i have witnessed who are unhappy is because they are weighted down by the chains of their parents of their friends of their siblings of the whatever things the people that they believe are casting judgment on them and they care so much about that person's disapproval that they don't want to do the things that they want to do A desire is a contract that we make with ourselves to be unhappy until we get what we want. And so whenever we state a desire, like I want this, I want this amount of money, I want whatever, you literally sign a contract that says like, I won't be unhappy until that happens, right? Like I create this expectation of life, whereas if life just is, it just is. And it's the only way that you can actually be there. It's just pure acceptance, right? Um, which is why like the whole like shoulds of like, we should work, we should have balance, we should X. It's like, I believe marriage is a compromise. Like these are just statements of belief that are casting expectations out in the world that are just bound to be untrue at some point and then create dissonance. And so it's like, I believe marriage is marriage. And I believe my marriage is my marriage and I believe your marriage is your marriage. And like, I believe that I can work 24 hours a day if I want to. And that is all period, not and it's bad or and it's good. And there's no judgment on it, it just is. You know, if I get <laughs> dopamine secreted in my brain when I start working, cool. Like, and I will optimize for dopamine. And if I die, I know that in a thousand generations, nothing I do anyways is going to matter. So who cares? Like we live in this like, this like shoulds and have tos and like happiness, everyone talks about it. And it's just like, everyone is unhappy because they say they wanna be happy rather than being like, accepting like fuck happiness period. And then like, I don't need to judge the am, it just is. When people say like, hey, um, work, uh, you know, set these goals and like the rest will take care of itself. It still makes the rest taking care of itself the reason that you're doing it, which means that it's actually not getting around it. When people are like, you got to be process driven. If you're like, if we focus on the process, the goals take care of themselves. It still means that the goals are important. So like you have to, if, if you want to make the transition from like a process driven life, which is like, I'm doing these things to do them period, then the, so that I can be happy, so that I can have a good marriage, so that I can have a meaningful life has to disappear from the equation. It has to be, I do them period. Not because I do them. If you want to ascribe a meaning to why you're doing something, you can do it for whatever reason. How did you learn all of this? Did, was this through speaking with other people who have, who've been there before you thinking, um, I mean, my closest friend is a philosopher and I use that in terms of like the actual meaning of the word philosopher. So like philae to love and then sophos is wisdom or knowledge. So like he's a lover of knowledge, lover of wisdom. And like we talk every week, it's like the only standing meeting that I have is we talk for like two hours and we just talk about life. And he's one of these guys who like lives in a cave. Um, and it's like, he got his PhD when he was 20, like just a very brilliant guy. And so he and I just talk about things. He helped me get over a lot of the things that I, that I used to struggle with. And a lot of it was just like the language that we use matters a lot because like how we say things is how we think things. When I hear, like when I hear anyone talk like on my team or, or customers or whatever, it's like people talk so many things over themselves and they're like, I don't know why I'm not successful. And it's like, well, define success. And why are you not? And then what are the, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to do this to be ha like, there's so many chains that they put on themselves that it bec becomes very difficult to live. And so like, I spent a long time trying to not do that. Um, and it was just because like, I was unhappy and I didn't like being unhappy. And then I stopped judging myself for being unhappy. And then I stopped thinking about it altogether. And so I think that like, I'll give you a really real example for this. Mm. So one of the things that I'm vehemently opposed and I'm like you, and like, this is coming from a family who like had al alcoholics and, and drug addicts and things like that. Like, I really don't like the Alcoholics Anonymous um, concept of every morning waking up and saying, I am an alcoholic, hi, you know, whatever. And then they go into their, in their meetings because what it does is it puts it at the forefront of their mind and they, they literally label themselves every morning as having this problem, right? When somebody who's not an alcoholic just doesn't think about it. They don't think I'm an alcoholic. I have to fight not drinking every day. They just don't think about it. And so I think to the same degree that um, like living a meaningful life is not saying like, oh, I'm living a meaningful life. You just are, and you're not casting it. You're just, you just are. And most people, in my opinion, that I have witnessed who are unhappy is because they are weighted down by the chains of their parents, of their friends, of their siblings, of the whatever things, the people that they believe are casting judgment on them. And they care so much about that person's disapproval that they don't want to do the things that they want to do. And so if I think it's easier to get someone to realize that none of it matters and then build from there, than to try and flip the negatives. It's just to exit the equation altogether.
just say none of this matters. Therefore, I will start my YouTube channel and not care if my dad says that YouTube isn't real.